right, good morning guys. Welcome, oh goodness. <clears throat> Welcome to this weekend reading vlog. I am excited about it. I think it's going to be a good, fun weekend. It is currently obviously Friday and um, I am on ENT rotation. I'm on my elective, so it's very chill. I have time to actually read and do things and live my life. <laughs> um, but yes, it's about almost 10 a.m. and I am actually headed first. I have like the half the morning off um, that I have to go into work for the afternoon but I scheduled an eye appointment because I need I ran out of contacts and my prescription expired so I have to go do that but it's very close so I'm headed there and then where I'm going to get my eye test there is a Marshalls and a TJ Maxx so you know what that means we're gonna go Halloween decor shopping there but tomorrow we are going for sure like I'm gonna rent a car we're gonna go to a couple places because I really want to go to Michael's um, anyways I just like blabbering now but yes that is what I'm doing this morning I'm super excited for this um, reading vlog I think it's going to be, be a good And then I met up with some of my friends for happy hour. I guess we just met up for drinks because there was no happy hour happening. <laughs> um, but it's this place, it was at this place called Taboo, which is a rooftop that I kept hearing about. It's like a little pop-up rooftop. It was really cute. The drinks were pretty good. So let's us see. Okay, so the first thing from Joann's that I got, hope the lighting is good. So I got this tea towel. This like dark, as you can see, like I have this dark green velvet couch. I have a green rug. Like my living room is kind of like green because I just love this color. Haunting we will go with this beautiful skull and like black tassels. And this is just so beautiful. Like it is very well done, I will say. Like the embroidery, I love it so much. Oh, Haunted Hollow, that's the name of the collection. It's gonna be like an all year piece, like I said. So I have like Halloween tea towels that I may make it to make it more Halloween themed, like orange and black and stuff. But this is going to be an all year piece. I love it so much. Uh, okay. And then the other little thing that I got from that collection, they have these beautiful signs. I think I took a video of it. And I just like kept looking at them and like, oh my God, these are so pretty. I have to get one, I have to get one. So I did get one. <laughs> it is just so beautiful. Like, I don't think this is doing it justice. You can kind of see. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it says boo. And then it has like moss and like leaves and these really cute little mushrooms and then like a little moth it is so cute and i thought this would look really cute on my bookcase with some of my horror books and it would say boo but it's like beautiful um okay and then at tj maxx um i got this mug which i'm so super excited about because every year there's like a hunt for the, for these Hello Kitty Halloween mugs. Last year there was a purple one that I could not find anywhere. This year is a pink one. Um, and it is just, look how cute that is, a little Hello Kitty. And it's just like so cute Halloween-y mug. I love it, it's just too cute, I had to get it. So this was only $5.99, I saw it and I was like, yeah. You are coming home with Hello, it is a little bit later. Um, I don't even know if I talked to you all this morning. I honestly 
can't remember. It's almost 2 p.m. It was a complete fail this morning. Oh my gosh. And on my way, I saw that there's this like lit festival, literally like a book festival happening, which was pretty cool. But um, so I drove to the Home Goods and they had some stuff out. There's definitely way more stuff the last time I went, which is why I told you all in that summer ween. Like, if you want Halloween decor, you gotta go early. Um, but yeah, they still have some stuff, but I don't know what it is about that Home Goods. The people there are so rude. Like they do not say excuse me. They do not care if they're in your way. They will not move. They will just, they just go act like they are, they are the like most important person and you need to get out of their way. I've never seen, cause I felt the same way last time I went there. People were so rude and people were so rude this time. And then I did walk around the little festival a little bit, the book festival, which was pretty cool. They had like used books and new books and local artists and stuff, but I didn't buy anything. Um, it's happening tomorrow too, so I may go back out there tomorrow and look at the used books again because they like constantly are putting in new ones. So I may go back out tomorrow since it's like literally right there. It's hello. It is like six o'clock now or five thirty. I don't know, but I thought to get me more excited about my Halloween stuff is that we will go through all of my Halloween decor. Not all of it, but like some of it, because I always kind of forget what I have. So I think this will make me excited. Um, first thing is this thing that my mom sent me. Let me show you. Sent me this um, a couple months ago, maybe in like July. Look at this thing. <laughs> Isn't this funny? It's just a little Jack Skellington on a little pumpkin. So cute. So we have that new de decor, which is very cute. Anyway, so I have a whole tub full of Halloween decor, some pillows. Oh, one of my favorite pillows. Oh, I need to go to Target. That's the place I didn't go to. Um, okay, my little jack-o'-lantern pillow. I love this thing. And I have this pillow pillow that I got from um, Michael's, I think. It lights up. Where's the, oh, I can't tell here. Maybe it's dead. Oh, this is one of my favorite things. This is from the, from Bath and Body Works. Oh, that's another place I need to go. Oh, and Spirit Halloween. Okay, I still have some places I can find things. Anyways, it's this little like plug-in. About this cute little lantern that I have with a little witch flying on it. Oh, that's so cute. Um, oh, Black Hat Society. That's cute. I think I got this from the Dollar Tree. I love it. And then this one. Oh, this was from the Target Dollar Spot, I remember. There's this little spells book, which is cute. What else I have here? I have a little white pumpkin with some bats on it. I don't remember where I got that one. Jack-o'-lantern, so cute. And I put little lights in here and I think it's so cute. Another little sign, home sweet haunted home. That's from Michaels. It's one of my favorite things. It's a cute little um, pumpkin like container. This is also from Michaels. I, mean, I, I don't, I never put anything in it, but this is so cute. I love this so much. All right, hey guys, um, it is Sunday and I'm feeling much better um, than yesterday. I was in such a bad mood yesterday. It's because it was the first day of that time of the month. <laughs> Always the worst, but yes, I'm feeling much better. It is a gloomy, rainy day, which I'm actually, of course, loving. It makes it very cozy, perfect weather for decorating, which we are going to do. I just walked to Target in the rain, I know, but, um, I really wanted to check out their Halloween collection, so I walked over and it was actually very nice to walk in the rain. I mean, my feet are soaked because I did I was not smart and I didn't wear my rain boots. But anyways, I finally have the Target collection and they were just putting it out. So I was able to get some of the things that I really wanted, which is nice. Okay, well, I also went and picked up some more um, Starbucks espresso pods because I'm almost out. Okay, so the first thing I got was this spooky fabric that I realized I don't have any and you definitely need this or I need it to make things look more spooky and Halloween-y. So I have some plans for this. I'm excited. This is only $5 and you got a pretty big um, pack. I'm gonna try to remember to like keep this so I don't have to keep buying it every year. I'm um, going along with that in the dollar section. I found some 
um, spider web. I got it in black. This was only a buck, so I got that to decorate with. Other couple Halloween things I got. I got this little, since I couldn't get my pumpkin man from Michaels, which I'm still determined to find that thing. I saw this little figurine, and it's so ugly. <laughs> That is so cute. I don't know why I love this so much. I don't know what it is about pumpkin, these little pumpkin men. I love them. And then the thing that I'm most excited about that I saw people hauling is this little haunted house. <gasps> How cute is this? They had like three different versions and I went, this is the one that I really wanted because it's like an A-frame and this just reminds me of like creepy churches, horror movies. Oh, let's see. And it lights up, let me take it out. Oh, perfect, because I thought, oh, you can't really tell. But I bet at night, it's gonna look so cool. Um, I don't know, it also reminds me of like Midsommar, which I didn't, I wasn't really a fan of that movie. I love that director, Ari Aster, is that his name? Ari Aster? Because he did Hereditary, you know, I'm getting off topic. Hereditary is my favorite horror movie. Didn't really care for Midsommar, but this just reminds me of Mitch Samar kind of gives me like the witch vibes, just creepy midnight mass, just like creepy church haunted house vibes. And I'm super excited about it because I really want to start collecting like haunted houses. But you know, that's going to be like a slow thing so that when I have my, when I have my own home, I could do a whole like creepy haunted house thing. Anyways, I'm very excited. This is only $10 and it's like made out of metal. Very cute. I'm very happy about this. Yes, let's start decorating.
today's Monday. Oh my gosh, today was a long day. I don't even know why. <laughs> um, but I was thinking that I'm going to just keep this vlog going and it's not going to be a weekend reading vlog. I think I'm just going to do what other people do and like combine a bunch of clips, especially because I didn't really read that much this weekend. Actually, I did read some, um, but not the book that I said I was going to read, um, which I probably cut out of this vlog so you don't even know. Um, but I think I'm just gonna put a bunch of clips together because I still want to put up the me um, Halloween decor hunting and putting up my fall decor and I want to talk about the books that I'm reading because I was going to do another video with them but I'm not anymore blah 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 all that to say we're just going to keep this vlog going until I decide to end it so it'll be fun and also I want to like unbox some packages with you all so I just got this in the mail from Pingo Books of course and I am very excited about it I saw this book and at first I was like, well, at first the cover intrigued me, which you will see why in a second. And then I was like, eh, but I don't want to read it. <laughs> um, and then I kept seeing it and I saw a couple, I think I saw actually one person talk about it. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I do want to read it. Oh, <laughs> that's such a sweet note. Is this thank you from buying from my bookshelf. That's so cute. I hope you enjoy the book. Happy almost spooky season. That's so sweet. I love that. I need to start doing that when I sell my books. That's really sweet. Anyways, so the book, oh, this is so, oh my gosh, this is even prettier in person. Okay, sorry, let me show you. So the book that I got is <laughs> Long Live the Pumpkin Queen, which I know is nothing at all like I would normally read, but Nightmare Before Christmas is, is my favorite movie i think of all time definitely my favorite disney movie and i don't know i just saw this and i just was like you know what this would be just a fun halloween read um and the cover i don't know if you can even i don't think he's doing it justice on the wait there's something in here oh my gosh she put stickers in here too what that's so sweet oh i don't even know what these are but she also put stickers in here anyways so i don't really know what this is about i'm just gonna go into it reading like just knowing nothing and just just to have a good time the only thing that kind of scares me <laughs> is that the little blurb right here it says jack and sally are truly meant to be or are they you can't you can't not have sally and jack together at the end of the book that doesn't make sense to me um like they're they have to be together I'm excited to hopefully like see all the characters in here okay so the first book that i am finishing that i am trying to really finish is moon witch spider king by marlon james the sequel to black leopard red wolf for some reason i like sped through the first like 400 500 pages and then i just put it down for no reason at all so i've been reading like a couple chapters here and there with the goal to finish this very soon i am have like less than 100 pages i'm very very close to the end as you can see the other book that i am actively reading is dracula and i am loving this so much i am annotating it so i thought i would share with you all my little annotating tab system here so i'm using these tabs this colorway so basically what i am doing so the dark red tab is anything where um descriptions of dracula more like descriptions of dracula him just anything that has to do with him that i think is like very pertinent to his character just because i think it's so interesting to see how he's describing dracula and then how that goes into how inspired other people to write about vampires and then i have a dark gray that is for vampire myths and legends so anything that the townspeople or anyone else in the book um thinks that they know about vampires and i have this gold tab that is for like any religious themes that i'm noticing because i find it interesting that like vampires and religion are so like interwoven and how like a crucifix is used to like ward off vampires i'm just wondering how that came to be so anything that i'm noticing that has to do with that i mark it just so i can kind of think about it and see what he's trying to do there and then i have this like beige tab that's just for like random things that i didn't know like just beautiful quotes that i 
like anything that I found interesting it just goes that doesn't fit with the rest and then I did a dark blue for possibly foreshadowing I'm having a really good time annotating this and it is really good some parts it can definitely be pretty dry and a little boring but um yeah it's I'm really really enjoying so it especially. it is now Thursday the 15th I think um my bags look pretty bad <laughs> so today i had to cover red team which is pick you team two so it's still the picky but it's like lower acuity so i am tired and then i also met up with some of my co-workers co-residents for happy hour which was fun um yeah and now i'm obviously back home but i thought i would come and update you all because i have some packages to unbox which i am obviously very excited about so first i have a package it is an amazon packaging but it is from pango books and i'm very excited about this so this is another book that i'm like you probably would expect me to buy this book but i saw it a couple months ago actually now on olivia from olivia reads and latte she um i think got this book from like a publisher and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, it looks like such a cute little book. And it's been on my mind <laughs> since then. You're gonna try to fit in, he's trying to, Toby, oh, yep, he is in it. He's in the tiny box. Let me show you. <laughs> You're just gonna sit in the little box. Look at you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, anyways. Um, but yes, I saw her mention this book and I was like, oh, this looks like a cute little book. And I've been thinking about it since. And that is this one here. This is a middle grade. It's called The Clackety by Laura Senf. I'm not even sure how you say that. Um, no idea. I don't know the story at all. But just like the vibes, like look how cute this is. The art style looks amazing. Some shadows are best left in the dark. So there is like artwork throughout the book and it's just a little middle grade fun horror story and i don't know it's kind of i don't know it's just giving me like tim burton Coraline vibes and i am all about it i think this is going to be such a fun read especially with the artwork next so this is my nightworms subscription monthly subscription service which i did a whole video unboxing august month which i will link for you all so you can um know more about the service but this is a um monthly horror book subscription box and i'm so excited about it from nightworms like i said so first what should we do first let's do the little extras yeah, yeah, yeah. So the theme this month was fever dream this month we got ooh, we got some this is from the brand crooked crows and it's some tea this is the brand i believe crooked crows and then you get the little tea here and I like that it's a little like, it's not loose leaf tea, which last time we got loose leaf tea. Um, oh, that's so cute. So this month we got a sticker of the Night Worms logo, which is really cute and like this holographic theme, cute. So we got a book sign plate. Oh, for both of the books, that's fun. Book sign plates, I believe for both of the books with the author's signature. And then we got a little magnet that says, I heart indie horror okay so this first one is anybody home anybody home by michael j seedlinger cover is creepy um let's see what came first the home or the desire to invade i kind of i don't want to know too much about it but i'll just see a little bit a seasoned invader with multiple home invasions under the belt recounts their dark victories while offering tutelage to a new generation of ambitious home invaders oh so one of the reviews says harrowing and tremendously upsetting anybody home flips the home invasion genre on its head for a new generation of readers okay all right and then the last book that we have here you always get two books in every subscription box this is a thick novel is this one here this is called full immersion by Gemma amor um okay so i think this is what the theme of the 
of this month is based off of so it says what can you do when you're reeling from trauma but you've tried it all counseling yoga pills meditation art healthy living none of it makes a dent what's left magpie is out of ideas she's desperate enough to try anything just when she thinks her life can get no worse she discovers herself or rather her own dead body partially buried in the mud bank of a river a man stands by a familiar stranger what does he want and why can't she remember getting here why can't she remember anything magpie realizes all too soon that her journey has transformed from healing to survival she must become the hunter rather than the hunted with her missing memories the prey what in turn brutal beautiful and absolutely terrifying full immersion is the latest speculative horror from Gemma more speculative horror. I am very curious. Like these two books I've never heard anyone talk about but they sound so great. Ugh. I did also wanna quickly update you all on my reading. I am now past the 100 page mark of Dracula which I am very much still enjoying. Um, it's so good. I will say there's like a lot of points where I'm like, why in the world is he talking about this? Why is this dragging on for so long? What is the point? But there is always a point. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that I was going to Goodreads to put this as my, like I'm reading it. And if you didn't, if I haven't said already, this is a reread for me. I read this in high school and I hated it. And I had the nerve to give this book a one star. I gave Dracula a one star, which I thought was really funny. I didn't think I gave it a one star, but yeah, I remember not liking this book at all which is why I wanted to reread it because now that I'm liking horror a lot more, I already know that I like gothic literature um, and I love my vampires. I wanted to reread it to see what I would think of it. I'm at the part now where Dracula is now in Whitby, I believe. He was on that ship. And he is, I think, I guess about to cause chaos in Whitby. So that is all for this little update. second so i got in the mail from this is actually from one of my friends here in chicago he sent it to me um it's called meditations by marcus i don't know how you say his name but he keeps talking to me about this book over and over and over and he's like have you read it yet why haven't you read it yet um i think you need to read this book because he wants to discuss it with me he said it was short this is not that short of a book i have no idea what this is about uh written in greek by the only roman emperor who was also a philosopher Without any intention of publication, The Meditations offers a remarkable series of challenging spiritual reflections and exercises developed as the emperor struggled to understand himself and make sense of the universe. Hmm, that sounds actually interesting. But yeah, and I love these these Penguin Black Spine editions. They are a dream to write in and annotate. So that part I'm excited to do. So it's definitely something that I will... <laughs> try to pick up soon but yeah i thought i would share that with you all it is now i don't even know wednesday yeah it's wednesday almost 6 30 and i'm finally gonna sit and do some reading 
I was doing some reading at work, um, not today, but yesterday, because you can find lots of classics for free. If you didn't know this, you can find lots of classics for free to read. Um, and so that's what I did. I did it on my phone. I was like highlighting things also in my book. So I want to go and finish annotating in here what I annotated on my phone, see how many pages I read, and then read a bit more. So that is what we're going to do now. Things are getting a little bit more interesting. Um, Lucy, who I'm pretty sure Dracula has taken, is trying to take, has taken to be his. Um, and Dr. Van Helsing. Oh, Doctor, we've got introduced Dr. Van Helsing. He came and he's trying to save Lucy and figure out what's going on. Oh, and we got the garlic flowers. The only thing that is really confusing me about this book in this world. Do people know that vampires exist or do they not? Because it seems like they do considering how um, the first character, John, John, you know, went to Dracula's house and people were like warning him not to go and like giving him a crucifix and saying like the devil lives there or a vampire, but like not quite saying it, but saying it. So I'm just confused. Like, do they actually know that vampires are like, are vampires just like alive in this world and they know and they know what to do about it or not? I mean, that's, that's what I'm so confused about. you all it is about it is monday and i'm super excited me and my friend are going to this mystery movie night um so basically it's five dollars a ticket we go to like a super nice movie theater it's like really big i'm super excited i haven't been to this one and it's a pre-screening so it's a movie that hasn't come out yet but you just don't know what movie it's gonna be isn't this all so much fun? So I figured even if it's like a bad movie or like, you know, whatever, a movie that I don't really want to see, like who cares? It's fun because like you get to see it before everyone else and you can just make fun of it. And it's only $5 to see like a movie in a really nice movie theater. So I'm super excited about it. I'm hoping it's a good one. All right, hello. I am back from the movie and it was actually pretty good. So it was the greatest beer run. I think that's what it was called. It was with Zac Efron and it was surprisingly, it was like surprisingly because at first I was like, I don't know about this because it was like a war movie um, about like the Vietnam War. And I don't know, I was just kind of like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but you know, we'll watch it. I do like Zac Efron. Um, what am I going, what am I doing? Oh, okay, I was gonna go to Letterboxd and put my rating. But yeah, it was actually pretty good. It was like heartfelt and funny, but like has some like darker kind of scenes. Um, yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. All right, it. hello. It is now Thursday. Oh my gosh, the camera on my phone makes me look really bad. <laughs> Anyways, I am back from work now. This week is my, I don't think I've said, this week is my starting yesterday, today's Thursday. Starting yesterday was my Y week. So that's where we have clinic. Um, we do our continuity clinic and that's, I have it like, basically every day, but it's only half a day. So today I had my clinic in the morning, which I did afternoon, they call it wellness. And it's technically like I could get called in. I mean, you find out way before. It's not like Jeopardy where you can get called in at any second, but it's where I like say someone on, say another resident has like a doctor's appointment or something. And if you're on wellness, then it's so that you will go cover for like a couple hours and come back. But it's like rarely used. Um, so if you have wellness and you don't get called in, then it's just off. So I've made it my like self-care tradition, I guess, where every Thursday afternoon that I have wellness off, I have my wellness block, I go to the movies by myself. So today I am going to see Nope, which I'm so excited about. I can't believe it's taking me forever to see it. And last, I bought my ticket this morning and there was no one else 
in the movie theater. So it's just going to be me. I'm very excited. I'm so excited to see this movie. I hope it's good. I heard mixed things, but I love Jordan Peele um, and I like really weird movies. So I think I'm going to like it. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> everyone i am coming to end the vlog it is much later it's like in october now <laughs> this vlog is taking me forever to edit and get together but anyways i hope you all enjoy this very random i feel kind of chaotic vlog um if you made it to the end thank you i hope you had a great september um and yeah i will catch you all in my next one bye